Okay, I'm gonna be the one to break really bad news to you. There are things that some of you are learning and studying and working with right now in technology that is going to stop being in demand very soon. Sooner than we probably expect. And this isn't to scare you or to worry you about the future and do you have a future, but to equip you with if you are headed in a direction where you are focused on technology and skills that might not be in demand in the near future, how to kind of shift your gears and focus on skills that will be in demand. Let's get into it. The first one being single language development. So what do I mean by this? If you are a developer learning how to code or really any technology, understanding just that sole language or that sole technology isn't going to become in demand anymore. Now this might not become necessarily obsolete, but it definitely isn't going to be what stands out to someone or gets you hired. Now there's difference here. Being a specialist at something and really diving into understanding a subject, whether it be a programming language, whether it be a specific technology, that's a different topic. What I'm talking about is not being open to learn other languages, to learn other technologies as they come up. We're living in a time now where even if you want to get hired as a developer, you need to know maybe one programming language with multiple frameworks, with a framework. You need to know multiple technologies at the end of the day. Gone are the days where it's good enough to just know, I know Python or I know JavaScript. You need to have a bit more willingness to learn new technologies as they arise. And as we know, they are coming quickly. The next one on the list, one that is kind of sad reality for a lot of people who rely just on their hard skills, meaning technical skills, is hard skills without technical skills is kind of becoming obsolete. Nowadays, if you really want to be in demand and get hired with a nice salary, grow your career, you can't just have your technical skills, even if you're hi getting hired for a technical role. And I know this is a hard truth for a lot of us to hear, but gone are those days. Nowadays, when you are getting hired, you even if it's for a technical role, you need to have the soft skills that go alongside it. You need to communicate with a team. You need to be collabor collaborative. Uh, you need to be able to present some soft skills as well. Now, I'm not saying you have to be this amazing speaker or have a ton of different soft skills, but being willing to work together, work in a team-like setting versus gone are the days where you can just go in your basement program and you know, still be super in demand. Those days are coming, becoming less and less and the reality is hard skills without soft skills is no longer something that is in demand. Okay, let's go into some other roles that this article on Forbes is saying will become less in demand. Actually, they're saying obsolete. The first one being quality assurance. Now, I don't really fully agree with this. I think quality assurance will remain a job that is needed for quite a long time. However, you do see it shifting to a different kind of role. Meaning if you look at the article here, which I will pull up on screen, you can see generally quality assurance roles are being actively merged with developer roles, which I agree with. Nowadays, when you are a developer, a lot of your responsibility before you even submit a PR, you, you, know, you are expected to write tests, you're expected to test your software, test your code to make sure it functions accordingly. Now that being said, a lot of times as a developer you are biased, or I'll speak for myself anyways, and if I kind of see a bug but I'm really tired of working on that ticket, I might just let it slide. And that's where QA comes in. So I do think QA will remain in demand to a degree, but I don't think it's going up in demand, let's say that. Another one here on the Forbes article that they list is systems administration. And I needed a second to really understand what they were referring to with this as far as how it would become obsolete. So they are arguing that with the cloud and software as a service becoming normalized, software delivery platforms in businesses, the need for administrators and system experts is lessened. They go on to say, well, technical support will continue to be a growing field. High level admins who operate within these systems themselves will need to shift to other areas. And I kind of agree with this. I don't think it's going to become obsolete maybe tomorrow, but it's definitely not coming in further in demand. And another one this article says will not be in demand, or actually they say obsolete again, is single software expertise. And this is something we spoke about a bit earlier in this video, and it's something that I agree with. No longer can you be an expert in just one software. Well, sorry, let me rephrase that. Yes, of course you can, but is it going to be in demand? Will it continue to grow in your career? Probably not. You need to be open to learning these new softwares, new programs that come out, even if you're not a developer, but not being scared of touching technology, working with programs, 
Even if you're a project manager, being able to use different tools as they come up that are more in demand or more popular and being open-minded essentially or a forever learner is going to be so key. So this brings us to the question. These roles that we're talking about or these skills we're talking about are becoming less and less in demand. How do you ensure that what you are doing, the skills that you have, will stay in demand, that you are actually on a direction that will continue to grow and not become obsolete? I think the trend that I'm hoping you see throughout this entire video is you just need to be open-minded and a forever learner. And I keep on saying that, I know it probably sounds cliche after a while, but it's so true. Jobs are going to continue to change as AI continues to evolve and grow. And a lot of the jobs we see today, we will not have in the future. And that's okay. It doesn't need to be something we're scared of or worried about, rather excited about and look at it as a positive that frankly, we're all in this together. It doesn't just affect tech roles, it affects like, you know, for example, even with ChatGPT, you hear stories now of how it can pass the bar exam. It can do all of these different things in all of these different areas. It's not just technology. And I think that's really important to note too. It makes me feel a little bit better when I sleep at night, knowing that if my job's taken over, probably everyone else's job's taken over too. And we've already moved on to figuring out a new way of life. Maybe it involves it's not working at all. Hmm, on that note of dreamy of not working ever again, AI is doing everything for us. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know down below other comments or other ideas of you that you have or you see trends of, of skills that are not near as in demand as they used to be in tech, or maybe they are on the way of becoming obsolete. It doesn't have to be a negative. It has to be something we are aware of and take action on. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.